Today, Spokane Police Chief Craig Meidel put the Department of Transportation on notice saying their property, which is home to the state's largest homeless camp, could be declared a chronic nuisance. Krem 2's Kyle Simchuk is looking at what the chief is demanding. Kyle? Well, this 11 page letter was sent to Washdot and Jules Helping Hands. They're required by law to respond within 10 days and must take corrective action. That includes clearing people out by October 31st. However, the city told us that is not a hard deadline. Their top priority is transitioning people into a safer environment before the cold weather sets in. This letter is the start of the official abatement process. It's also intended to bring some urgency. The notice lays out a long list of nuisance activities officers have documented over the last several months, including fights, threats to people and businesses, items being thrown onto the freeway, human waste inside the camp, and people using and selling drugs on the property, among other things. This summer, we first reported someone at the camp launched a drone and attacked a police drone, which was searching for burglary suspects. The chief says those men broke into the Make-A-Wish Foundation's office and stole a laptop. This is a crime hotspot in this area, and it is impacting that community immediately around that, that camp. That's what Chief Craig Meidel told us in a sit-down interview last month. According to data from SPD, calls for service within a quarter-mile radius of the camp have shot up 73 percent compared to this time last year. A good number of these are not going to take shelter. For, for whatever the reasons are, they absolutely will not take shelter. So the first thing we have to do is find out who is willing to take shelter and who is willing to go to shelter. In the letter, Meidel lays out 12 things Washdot and Jules Helping Hands need to take care of immediately. It includes providing the city with an accurate headcount at the camp, transitioning people into safer housing, bringing in state troopers to help SPD patrol the camp, and clearing out all trash and personal belongings no later than November 15th. And Sheriff Ozzy Knezovich is also working on an abatement order. He says campers who do not clear out by early November could be arrested. Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.